In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Write and Cite, which is a tool that you use with RefWorks in order to put internal citations into your paper and at the end be able to complete it so that you have a bibliography in the proper citation style. The first step in this process is to download Write and Cite, which you do by going up here to the Toolbars menu and then clicking on Write and Cite. When you do, you'll start to see uh, a set of features or a set of choices here that you can use. For now, I'm going to always suggest that you use the older version of Write and Cite because the newest one um, is having some issues. So I would click on Previous Version, click on this, and then just follow the instructions. If you're using a Mac, same thing applies. Come down here click on this and then click on the one that's requisite to what you're you're using and then follow the instructions once you've downloaded write and cite you may access it in a couple ways one is you may already have an icon on your desktop and you can click on it to access it if you don't see it there another place that you might find it is by going to the menu the big menu of all the programs on your thing, go to All Programs, finding the RefWorks folder, clicking on it, and then you can find Write and Cite here. Now if you find it here and you want to uh, move it to the desktop, just left click on it and then drag it to the desktop. I'm not going to do that because I already have it there, but it's an option. Regardless of which way you do it though, it's all going to work out the same. A third place that you may find it is that when you are, say, in a document and you're typing and you just say, hey, I need to start citing these things, is you can also access Write and Cite through the Add-ins menu in Microsoft Word. If I should click here, what you'll notice is that I now have Write and Cite over here. Regardless of which way I click into it, though, it's going to look the same at least initially. You'll come up with a box that looks like this that will prompt you for your RefWorks uh, account information so in this case I'm going to put in my account information and when I do and I hit login what you'll notice is I can see all of my references now in this case there's only nine references in the entire folder in other times or in other folders I have I have thousands of references so most likely what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at a particular folder the way you do that is to come up here to view, go to the drop down, and then go to folder, and then find the particular folder you want. In this case, I want sample one. When I do that, you'll now see I have sample one. Now, from here, what Write and Cite enables you to do is to use the citations in your RefWorks library to do internal citations in your paper, and then at the end to be able to finish it with a Works Cited page. The way that works is like this. If say I have my uh, document open and I come to the end of a sentence and I realize I need to put a citation in here, what I can do is make sure my cursor's there, go back to my RefWorks um, uh, list of citations, click on Cite for the one that I want, and what you'll now notice is that in a weird markup language, you'll see the citation. Don't touch the brackets. The brackets are there for the program to read to put it in the proper uh, citation style for you. Now say if we continue to write and I now decide I need to put one here, it's the same process. But this time when I go to write and cite, say I'm not really sure if this particular um, citation is the one I want and I want some more information on it. If I click on the view uh, alternative there or choice you'll now notice I can see the entire citation even the abstract if that's not enough for you you can click on the get it at BCU button to get to the full text of the article if say you're not really sure what page you got a particular uh, quote from or something like that all of that information is here for you now if you want to go back to the regular list or the long list we were looking at before just click on back to reference list and you'll now see it now if I decide that I do want that art that to be my citation I just click on cite and the same thing happens as before 
Now if I continue to go, and I want to add one or two more here, it's all the same process. I just make sure my cursor is where it's supposed to be, and then go in and hit Site. Now as I do that, you're noticing that I continue to get all these places for markup language. Now that I, I am say I am done, and I have cited everything in the paper, and I'm ready to go, the next step I would I would suggest is to save this document the way it is with all of this markup language in it. And the way that you do that is to go up to File, go to Save As, and then make it just title it what you want. Many times I give it a title of you know paper markup. The reason I would suggest you do this is because many times when you're doing a publication you may find that one publication wants it in one citation style and another may want in another uh, citation style and many times if you go through and finish the paper the um, markup language in here gets uh, jostled a little bit or adjusted and you cannot easily go between one citation style and another whereas if you have this markup language one you'll be able to easily do that. Now once you've saved it as markup, now you have it and you're ready to finish your paper and put it in the style you want. Go back to your writing site, go to bibliography. When you do, it'll ask you for an output style. You'll see I have that selection of all the other ones too. I want APA 6th. I select it, I hit create bibliography. And you'll notice it goes to work and it'll tell you, hey, it's done with no errors. Now I'll close that. And what you'll notice is I have everything in the proper format along with the references at the end or the works cited, depending upon the citation style you used. Then from here, once you're done, just save it as what you want to save it as. In this case, I'm going to save it as final. And you now have a um, paper or a write-up that is done in right and cite with the citations uh, uh, in the right style and the references at the end. And that is how you use right and cite.